Agamemnon? Yes, Carl. Can I have a seat? Good afternoon. Good, good, good evening, sir. Good evening. Yeah, take a seat. Want to open your buttons? Do it. Be, be comfortable, be relax, and take out the mask for some time. Talk freely to us. You are Ishan. Yes, sir. From Jaipur. Lovely city. Let's start uh, with your home state. What are the major industries today in Rajasthan and where they, are they located? Uh, sir, they are, uh, ma uh, there is a marble industry, uh, and, uh, the refinery was in uh, Nagaur area, and uh, also there are fabric industries in Sanganir, Jaipur. And, uh, there are some uh, handicrafts industries uh, in nearby in Kishanga town, that's uh, what I am in. Okay. You studied in Srinagar. Yes, sir. And you belong to Rajasthan. Yes, sir. Can you quickly compare the trees that you would have seen in Srinagar and the trees that you see in your Rajasthan? Sir, Which are the major trees in Srinagar and in Rajasthan and what is the difference? The trees in Srinagar were uh, mostly evergreen uh, trees and uh, they were uh, Devdar. And, uh, Devdar, yes. yes. And there were uh, Cheer. Cheer. And, uh, in uh, Rajasthan mainly. What is the importance of Cheer tree? Does it give anything to us? You ever thought about it? So, um, cheer, they, they, they give, um, I, I want to take a guess. Hmm? They give uh, hardwood to. Wood, every tree gives some wood. Hardwood. What is hardwood? What is softwood? I don't know. What is the difference between hardwood and softwood? So hardwood has higher strength than softwood and... No, no, uh, that is the common thing. It's actually, the cheat is not a hardwood. And, uh, Go back and study this. Okay. And in Rajasthan, uh, mostly, uh, the majority of the trees are, uh, uh, have these thorns, uh, thorny trees. Thorny tree, for example? Uh, baboon shrubs. Baboon. And uh, what is the reason? Why do have do you have thorny trees? Why not evergreen trees in Rajasthan? Sir, because there is uh, deficiency of uh, rain in Rajasthan. Deficiency of rainfall. Hmm. Also, there are less water resources in Rajasthan. It's, it's a dry state. So, so uh, because of dry, it becomes thorny. What is Mostly, the thorny trees has a. Uh, they no, develop there is, in. A, there has to be some reason. Over. Revolutionary time, they have become thorny because of water shortage or some other reason? I think it's because of the climate only. It is, but do you know the botanical reason? No, it doesn't matter. You are a cricket player. What is the difference between a no ball and a dead ball? Give me three examples of each, common examples. The so no ball is counted uh, in a, as a no ball uh, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a legal ball, uh, but is love. Dead ball is not Dead counted. ball is also not illegal. Nothing is illegal. And dead ball is not counted as a ball or no a ball runs, a, runs a score there. No ball is counted. No ball is also not counted. No ball, uh, if runs are scored on the no ball, it is counted. But sorry, if, sorry? if runs are scored on the no ball, uh, it, is, it will be counted. But yes. on a dead ball, I don't think it is counted, I think. That's on dead ball? On a dead ball, runs are not counted as scored. I'll give you an example. The ball goes and the fielder uh, stops it with his hat. Five runs are given to the other side. Actually, the dead ball concept started from this incident some 150 years ago. So that's not the, no dif not a difference. Something else. Give me three examples. Forget about the difference. Every so day no ball, you are watching the cricket match yes, on TV. So uh, no ball happens if uh, the leg goes outside the uh, that crease line, bo baller's leg. Baller's leg was outside the crease line. Okay. Uh, or, and one Actually, is, yeah, it should not. It, even if touching it, it can be a no ball. And Doesn't also, uh, if a full toss comes uh, above the west Yeah, line, that's also no that's ball. Also Very good. Ball. And uh, dead ball will be like uh, if uh, baller balls have, uh, balls from behind the crease. Uh, I mean, uh, from behind, behind the, the stumps. It is allowed. And also, there are, if no, there are multiple dips. There is no such dead ball. 
Multiple tips. Uh, Multiple tips is also no wall actually, not dead wall. Never seen a dead wall, doesn't it? Okay. Sir. Okay, can you tell me what is dynamic modulus of elasticity? So dynamic modulus of elasticity, elasticity is the elastic modulus which changes with time and it has effects of creep included and it is given by 5000 under root FCK upon 1 plus theta where theta is creep for which 5000 root FCK divided by 1 plus theta is called dynamic modulus of elasticity. So what is long term modulus sorry, of elasticity? Sorry, sorry, I just got confused. Uh, dynamic modulus is the instantaneous tangent modulus which uh, we, uh, we get on a sudden loading or okay so which value will be indicated by dynamic modulus of elasticity so if initial uh, if instantaneous tangent is made on stress strain curve of concrete whether it will be secant modulus or tangent modulus so it will be tangent modulus tangent modulus and what about short term modulus of elasticity? That will be second modulus, uh, points of FU, one third of the ultimate strength, FU by 3, and uh, the origin point is joined with a straight line. And and how we can find out dynamic modulus of elasticity? So I, uh, I know the name only, I know the name of the process that is uh, ultrasonic resonance frequency. Okay, so what we do in that method? I don't know. You don't have any idea. Okay. What is difference between estimate and valuation? So estimate uh, we make uh, before a project where we calculate the cost of project which which will happen uh, which will, which is which will happen in future and in valuation we uh, estimate as a cost of the building. Uh, in case if we want to rent out, rent it out or for lease or insurance purpose or if we want to sell it after the construction. How you can make the valuation of the building? Okay, so uh, it has uh, multiple, so, uh, the initial cost of building and uh, depreciation included. What do you mean by depreciation? So depreciation is the decrease in the cost of uh, any Anything after some time with, uh, with the duration. Suppose duration. suppose the cost of a building when it was constructed, hmm. suppose 10 year back was 50 lakh. Hmm. What will be the present cost of the building? Sir, it will How will calculate? Suppose the depreciation rate is 10%. So the, uh, there are multiple methods of uh, calculating depreciation. Uh, that's why straight uh, straight line method and uh, uh, fix a is double rate declination wala or जो जो उसमें single rate पे depreciate करता है कोई भी चीज़ Okay, explain the straight line method. So straight line method के अंदर uh, एक fixed amount of cost हर साल reduce होती है. उसी को स्ट्रेट लाइन मेथड कहते हैं कि स्ट्रेट लाइन स्लोप मिलता है उसका कांस्टेंट स्लोप रहता है एनी अदर मेथड यस सर देयर आर मल्टी देयर आर मोर मेथड्स लाइक सिंकिंग फंड डिपॉजिट मेथड और सिंकिंग फंड मेथड के अलावा देयर आर सम ऑफ इयर्स मेथड कैन यू टेल मी अप्रोक्सीमेटली व्हाट मे बी द कॉस्ट सपोज 50 लाख वाज द कॉस्ट 10 ईयर बैक Approximately tell me hmm. and uh, rate of depreciation is 10%. So after 10 years, what will be the cost? Will it become zero? No, sir, it will not become zero. 10% reduction. I can calculate it uh, by uh, there is one, uh, there is a formula I can. Can uh, write down the formula? Initial rate 30 lakhs. Mm, for 50 lakhs. 50 lakhs. Tell me what is the precision rate is 0 0.1 lakh. Uh, yes. Why 
what you have written tell me so in this method uh, the 10% of uh, the initial book value of each year will be depreciated from that book value itself like uh, after one year there is 30 lakh uh, 50 lakh is our uh, initial uh, cost of the building then uh, after one after one year it will be uh, reduced by uh, if 10% is rate it will be reduced by uh, 5 lakhs and then we will get 45 lakhs book value after the end of first year and uh, then it will reduce uh, 10% of 45 lakhs okay, in fine. subsequent year. <coughs> what are different method of tendering nowadays that are used? No idea. Have you heard about PPP yes, sir. model? What is that? For private public partnership. So what we do in this case? So in this case, uh, uh, private uh, Private uh, organization uh, takes the tender of a ongoing project at, at some rate, and uh, then after construction, uh, they maintain it and also run it. And takes uh, just take uh, if uh, we take the example of uh, uh, national highway between Jaipur and Delhi, uh, it was constructed by some company. If and then they will collect, they will uh, maintain the road and they will collect toll taxes. And when so uh, government will pay him cost of construction or not? Sometimes government can also pay, and uh, sometimes the total expenses are owned by the public player only. And they, uh, when so what do you mean by public private partnership? Sir, usme ye rahega na ki agar जो प्राइवेट प्लेयर है वो अपना जैसे भी कॉस्ट uh, उसका जो इनकर हुआ है वो जब उसका वापस हो जाएगा सो हाउ पब्लिक इज इन्वॉल्व हियर देन इट विल बी ट्रांसफर टू गवर्नमेंट दैट फॉर नो माय क्वेश्चन इज हाउ पब्लिक वर्ड इज कमिंग हियर द पब्लिक इज पार्टनरशिप विद द गवर्नमेंट दिस इज गोइंग ऑन बिटवीन द कॉन्ट्रैक्टर एंड द गवर्नमेंट वेयर इज पब्लिक द गवर्नमेंट इज आल्सो द रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ पब्लिक ऑन गवर्नमेंट इज पब्लिक गवर्नमेंट इज रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ द Okay, no problem. So you tell me, uh, what do you mean by redundancy of structures? What is redundancy? So redundancy means uh, extra. Uh, if there is something extra force or extra member is in, in a structure, that is a redundant structure. What do you mean by kinematic indeterminacy? The kinematic indeterminacy are the um, extra movements which are available are the movements that are available at uh, joints in the structure mm. you draw a single portal frame fixed at the ends mm. you find the kinematic indeterminacy of the structures considering all the members to be actually rigid Three, three. Yes, okay. What will be a static indeterminacy? Static indeterminacy <coughs> are the extra forces. कितना है इसका वो? ऐसे बता सकते हैं. Three. Three. Fine. So, so both are three. So which method of structure analysis we should go for? So any method can be used. Uh, either of force methods or either of uh, displacement methods. What are force methods? Different the force, force methods, methods are those methods in which. Uh, no, name, tell me. What are the name of the methods? Uh, three moment uh, Clapton equation, mm -hmm. or strain energy method, or virtual load method, mm -hmm. flexibility matrix method. What is virtual work method? So in virtual work method, uh, the work done by the system of forces. On the uh, structure given is equivalent to the work done by a virtually uh, based uh, load. Okay. By using the virtual work principle, mm -hmm. 
there is a simply supported beam of a span L having UDL of W per meter, you find the collapse load. The blue button. Eight MP upon L square. Yeah, correct. It's correct. Okay. Ishan, you have studied at MIT Srinagar. Yes, sir. Do you have railway station at Srinagar? Not in Srinagar. Uh, yes, there is a railway station in Srinagar. There is a railway station yes. in Srinagar. From where is it connected? From sir. where to where the line is operated? From Shinagar. It starts from Banihal. Banihal. Uh, yes, sir. And uh, I don't know the end station, but I have traveled only from uh, Shinagar to Banihal. Shinagar to Banihal, you have traveled. Know about where it goes. What is the width of gauge on which the train is running from Banihal? I'm not sure, but uh, if you give me, if you allow me, I want to tell you this. This is meter gauge. It's meter gauge. That means one meter. And it passes through a tunnel. Yes, very sir. important tunnel. Which tunnel is it? Peer Panjal Tunnel. Peer Panjal Tunnel. Yes. There is another tunnel, Jawahar Tunnel. Yeah, that is a road tunnel. That is a road tunnel. Why is it important? Sir, it uh, provides the all-weather connectivity between Jammu and Srinagar. Okay. And how much is its length? It is uh, 2.5 kilometers per hour. Okay. There is a bridge which is being constructed over River Chenab yes, for railways. Can you tell us something about that bridge? Okay, it is an arch bridge and it is mm -hmm. uh, at uh, 359 meters from the town, MSL, sorry, and uh, no, not from MSL, it's, I think it's from that river bit. Level. River bit. And uh, it has 17 spans and its total length is about 1.3 kilometers. Is it a road bridge or rail bridge? It's a rail bridge. Or a combined one? It's a rail bridge. It's a rail bridge. Why is it important? Sir, uh, it will provide the uh, connectivity of the Kashmir region from the rest of the country. From the rest of the country. Yes, and rest of the country means to India. Not yes, to India. But to which station? Uh, it's from Katra. From Katra. So right now the train runs till Katra. Yes, sir. And further connectivity is not there. Yes. And there is a local uh, rail network in Kashmir, but it's not connected to Katra. And that is why this bridge is being constructed. Yes, what is the material being used? For this bridge, you have no idea. You said that it's an arch bridge. Iron, steel, sorry. Steel. So what grade of steel? I haven't read that. You haven't read. Okay. Okay. Now, in your final year, what was your project about? So my project was about hydraulic conductivity, uh, where we conducted some experiments and uh, derived an hydraulic conductivity. Yeah, that's permeability. Permeability only. Hydraulic permeability, yes, only. permeability of which material? Uh, uh, we uh, did a comparison between the crushed gravel and uh, round weight gravel samples. And we derived a final empirical formula hmm. which gave the relation between the void ratios and uh, density of the material. Sorry, but uh, there is already an empirical formula for it. Yes, yes, sir, there is a formula. But uh, in, the, in that formula, there is a constant term k. Yes. And uh, whose value I don't think. Of. It, it's given for various samples and uh, the experiment which we conducted, uh, we uh, used some software for uh, the regression model, something like that. Or we did use some formula. Where so basically, you had certain sample studies based on those sample studies. Using the software, you derived that formula. Yes, sir. For calculating the value of permeability yes, or the coefficient of permeability. Yes, okay. okay. That will be all from my side, sir. Okay, thank you, Sam. Just wait for a minute. We'll call you. Okay, sir. Thank you.
Shani, you are doing great. Go with the confidence. How many days are there? Eight. Eight days. Good revision. So, I will tell you about the technical things. General personality wise is okay, fine. Only thing is that a little more clarity in speaking. There is no hurry in interview. Take, you can pause a little and speak with the pauses and slightly slower pace if it is possible. If it, you can manage it. Okay. Because uh, one is of course the old people are sitting here. The other is the reason is that uh, there is a greater chance of a slip or making a mistake if you are speaking too quickly. Yes, and there is no going back in interview. You can't come back in interview. It's very difficult to come back in current. Okay. Just take care of that. Otherwise, uh, and uh, I asked you mainly about cricket. When you write something in the DAF, be prepared for it. Yes, sir. Because chairperson normally is asked from current affairs or DAF, these two things. Okay. Take care of that. Technical things are very easy. Technical, I found it's okay. Whatever you are answering. Your way of talking is also a little bit problem is there, they will tell you what exactly um, that problem is. Uh, just whatever question I asked from valuation, you did well. Uh, generally, uh, a student will not be able to answer those questions. So, I am happy. Uh, however, jitna aap aur achha kar sakte ho, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Uh, so, one the quick, very quick two points, Isan. Uh, you, uh, you are alumnus of NITC, you know, and it's a good legacy, you know, good age. Eh? So you have to repeat it. You, know? uh, you have to go on the, on the foot of uh, that good age. Eh? You know? All the best. Ishan, Cheez jo observe kiya tha ki jab aap enter karein, to aap yahan par aakar fir sidhe pushen lag gaya ki may I said for that you need to wish aap wo basic cards hi should remember it. Or yahan par aakar button nahi kholne before coming before entering into the room it's better ki aap bahar hi usko buttons khol kar aaye so that you are comfortable here theek when you answer aapko malum hote hue bhi jo aakhri ke char panch shabd hote hain answer ke wo aap fir muh mein hi rehne dete hain kha jate hain aur wo aakhri mein clear nahi hota ki aapne bola kya to you should speak in clear voice till your answer gets complete okay theek technical apna kuch revise kar lijiye especially related to jnk region kyunki aapne wahan padhai kari hui hai so related whatever civil engineering advancement or updates are there related to that region should be you should be aware of those yes, things. Okay. College ka jo final year project hoga, usko brush up kar lijega. Kyunki aapka job experience nahi hai, wahi hai jo aapne kuch kiya hua hai, to usse questions pooch sakta hai. Okay. Thanks. All the best. All the best. Thank you, sir.